Hi guys, welcome to part two of my Yomiko Classics collection. I've got ten more dogs to show you in this video today, starting off with my golden retriever here. So I'll just show you her a little bit more. She was pre-loved. I got her on eBay mm, a very long time ago now. She was one of the first ones that I got when I was first interested in collecting the Yomiko Classics. So she doesn't have a hang tag but she still has her tush tag and she's still in very lovely condition. I didn't write her name on the tag but her name is Honey, like a golden honey colour. So there's Honey, she's our golden retriever. The next one that I have to show you is called, I believe, Rottweiler Dog. <laughs> it's got a very lovely and big size about this guy. I'll just show you what I meant by it says Rottweiler dog. I'm not sure what they were trying to go with that. I would have just called him a Rottweiler, but I love it. It's still very cute and unique. He's got the sweetest looking face. He is quite big. I do have another Rottweiler, which was a, a lucky find at a thrift store one day. So this is a smaller Rottweiler. I'll just show them next to each other. So this little one is, is smaller. It's sort of like a different... Um, feel and, and even the weight is quite different between the two. I'm not sure if you can see the size difference there. There is a bit of a noticeable difference between the two. So again here on the left it says Rottweiler dog but then on this one here it says just Rottweiler. So there you are, they're two different types. You know the texture and the fur is quite similar on the two but One's the Rottweiler dog and one is the Rottweiler. So there you go. They're both very lovely. And I was very lucky to find this one. I, I love it when you find a, a lovely plush that you collect um, at the thrift store. So that was a beautiful find. These guys don't have names currently. So if anyone's got any suggestions, please leave them below and uh, we can get some names for these guys. So they're the two Rottweilers. The next one that I have here is my German short haired pointer. So if we just have a look at him. His name is Marble after like the marble chocolate. <laughs> a bit of a sh sweet tooth over here. I'm yet to find a, a plant based or a vegan friendly marble chocolate. So if anyone's got any suggestions, please let me know. So again, this is a German short haired pointer. I think I wrote on his tag. Yeah, <laughs> it's fading a little bit, but this is Marble. Super duper lovely. There he is. Marble. Next one is another one where they've called it like the breed and then dog at the end. So I'm pretty sure they've gone with this one. Schnauzer dog. I'll just show you guys. Yep. Schnauzer dog. He does not have, he or she does not have a name yet. So please suggest a way if you've got any suggestions. Very lovely this one. I do like this big size um, on these ones. I think I've got only the three in this sort of size. I'll just bring back Rottweiler Dog. And then the other one that I have, which was another lucky find, is in that same size, which is the Pug. I'm not sure if it says... Oh yeah, there you go. Pug Dog. So in this size where they're lying down and they're quite big and they've got sort of heavy paws as well on these ones it says dog at the end of their name on the tag so there's those three so as I was saying I got the pug from a thrift store one day which was another very lucky find for the Yumiko classics and then the schnauzer and rottweiler which I've shown you already so we'll move those guys out of the way Next up we have the Khan Terrier. I love this one's face. It gets hidden behind all his fur sometimes, but he does have a very sweet face. Just get his little eyes coming out there. At this stage, I don't believe he or she has a little name yet, but just look at how lovely, like the different colors and the fur. Oh my goodness, the different colors that they've got going on there. It's just lovely. Just have a look. Canteria. Yep, no name. So if anyone's got any suggestions, please 
let me know. I will be doing some brainstorming myself, but I'm always open to suggestions for names. It does look very lovely. I do believe I have a Khan Harry in my collection already called Toto after the dog from The Wizard of Oz. So Toto is taken, but if we can come up with a different cute name, that would be awesome. I'll keep you guys posted on my Instagram and in the comments or perhaps the description once I come up with names for the ones who don't have names yet. So there's a Khan Terrier. Next one that I have is the Yorkshire Terrier. Another one who sort of gets lost behind the fur. <laughs> My goodness, hard to see their little eyes sometimes, but they are super duper cute. And I love the little red bow too. So there's the Yorkshire Terrier. Just show you her a little bit more. Da -da -da -da. Yorkshire or Yorkshire Terrier, depending on how you want to pronounce it. There's that one. Okay, so next up we have the Chocolate Labrador. He's super cute. I love his face. He sometimes looks a little bit grumpy, like he's like, why are you looking at me? But super duper adorable, as with all the Yomika Classics plush that I'm showing you. So there, Chocolate Labrador. You can probably see a little bit of my actual dog's fur in there again. Dog Mother over here. So there. Doesn't have a name yet either. So guys, if you've got any suggestions for a chocolate Labrador, maybe we can call him Coco or Milo or something like that. I'll have a ponder. Get back to you guys. But there's chocolate Labrador. And the last one that I have to show you here, just super sweet boy, is the Jack Russell Terrier. He's very lovely. When I was growing up, a friend of mine had a Jack Russell and he was just so cute. I'm struggling to remember what his name was. Maybe if I can remember, we can name him after him. But in the meantime, he does not have a name. I think he looks like a boy. So if anyone's got any boy Jack Russell names, please let me know. He's got really cute, like, just random little spots on him too, which is really cute. So there you go, guys. So the 10 Yomiko Classic Dogs for today. I do have more. <laughs> I need to get them out of storage so I can show you guys and I've got like um, some small some smaller versions of the same breeds of dogs too and I'm not sure if you guys have seen before the Yomiko Dreamers, so the nice uh, bright coloured ones which are really awesome. Um, as per my channel name Colony Ames I do love colours and you can see the quilts and things that I use in the backgrounds of my videos, lots of different colours so they're very exciting to collect. The Yomiko Dreamers, uh, I'll show you another day, they're not overly realistic, obviously, in the colouring, but the look of them, and yeah, they're super cute. You'll see what I mean when I show you guys, so stay tuned for that. If you've got any comments or name suggestions, as I was saying, please do let me know. I'll get on to showing you some more of my Yomiko classics once I get them out of storage to show you guys. Uh, if anyone's got any breeds that they're looking to see, let me know, I'll see if I've got them and I can pop them in the next video that I do. Otherwise, yeah, thank you so much for watching and take care. Bye!